Hello everyone, it's me, Blokusatsu, and welcome to the second episode of the BlokuCast. With me, I, uh, me, everyone, everyone most hated, well, most hated person on Twitter, we can say, or in the token community in general. We welcome to my second, welcome to my second podcast episode. <laughs> Yay! By the way, thanks for all the love for the first one. Got a lot of attention, which is made me happy. But we're not here for that. So after I uh after I uh finished the first episode, I spin the wheel, asked for what show to watch next, and oh boy, this whole this show. Made me want to drink, and this whole show made me want to drink badly. And I don't like drinking, but I was making so many jokes that I need to drink. I need to drink because this show was so boring. It made me fall asleep. It's just ugh. okay. So what? So what are you talking about, Aaron? Well, I'm talking about Lupin Ranger versus Potter Ranger. Uh, I hate this show. Oh, right, let's just go on the character because uh, that let's 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 just do this already. So let's, let's begin with Katero, aka Potter Red, aka One B Bond. Well, he's a hot head and he's dumb. He's just a hot head, and he's dumb and stubborn. Like Bond, but it's just. I'm sorry, but I had to say this. I had to say this. The Potter Rangers are the least interesting characters in this whole entire show for me, and that's coming from me. That had like that coming from me. That watched like freaking Nin Ninja. Heck, Ninja had way more. <laughs> it's sad yet. Yeah, Ninja had way more interesting characters than this show. So let's go on to Potter Pink. Uh, Potter Pink. Uh, Miyoji, Miyoji, Tsukasa. I'm not calling her Tsukasa. No, she's not. De- she's not decayed. Let's just call her Potter Pink. Potter Pink over here. I wrote down my notes. She's trying to act cool, but. Nah, I'm not read it. In the show, she tried to act cool, right? And patient and serious. But yet, all that is scrap at times. All that is scrap when she see a plushie. I'm like, oh, I get it. She's trying to be like Hoji. But no one can copy Hoji. No one can copy my boy Hoji. She's trying to be like Hoji. But yeah, that, that, that didn't. Yeah, that didn't work out. Uh, I was I just want to say this. I have like, well, well, watched it the second time. I, I kept my eyes open for any little small detail I can think about about the character. There are a few, like how. Like how like and like <laughs> I'm more called the focus episode because like this whole show the Pat Ranger had like no like no focus episodes on themselves to be honest. <laughs> but uh in some episode they talk about the tell they talk about the Pat Ranger's backstory, like how K Twelve's backstory, how why why he became police officer because uh well it's because this one episode where this one kid acted like trying to act like, trying to act like the Lupin Rangers and Katero came and telling him, Hey, leave it to police. And Katero had a flashback of well of that one kid being himself. And yeah. That that one policeman inspired him to be a police officer, which is fair, understandable. But we're not even done yet. So, so, 
So let's talk about uh, Peppa Pink backstory and why she became why why she became a cop. After her after her parents died, her grandpa took her in. That's literally, that's literally, and my phone's and my phone's uh blowing up. That's literally all she did. No, literally, that's literally what. That's literally all she did. For real. For real. That's, 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 literally, that's literally all she did. I'm sorry I keep saying it, but for real. The show didn't give, like... The show didn't tell us about why she became a cop. It just told her... It just told us that, uh... She lost her parents at a young age. Her grandfather took her in. That's it. What's the reason for becoming a cop? The show did not explain. Like, what? Okay, I... Ooh, my bad. Hit my mic. Okay, so I understand Keitaro. I understand Keitaro why he became a cop. But what But what, what, what was Sukasa's reason? They never explained in the show. I mean, like, for real, they never explained in the show. <sighs> it's whatever. It's... It's whatever. So let's talk about him. Oh boy. Before we talk about Noel, I want before we talk about Noel, I wanna say this. This this is this one kid that's the main reason actually one of the main reasons why I did not like this show. So let's talk about uh Pat Green, aka Sakura. Now, Saka right here is a hoo-hoo. I have a lot to say about this guy. He's annoying, stupid, whiny as freak. He's a very he's very pervy, and I'll I'll get onto that soon. <laughs> he has a big mouth. His he's an idiot, <clears throat> and he's annoying as freak. His voice is annoying. <laughs> And his smile's creepy as freak. <laughs> He's a moron, and, and to be honest with you, the most useless member of the whole team of Petal Rangers. Did I say that I don't like him? So, let me explain why I say he's a creep. So, the show, the show told us that, uh, Bobby, before anyone comes after me, let me say this. I try to look up. I try to look up what the heck is this? What the heck is this character's age in the show? I got no info. I look the wiki. I look. I look on Google. Got no info. So I'm gonna guess that this guy around his like uh, let's say twenties or thirties. Now I'm gonna say twenties. That yeah. The show told us that uh, Yumika left. Yumika left. Her parents out when she was eighteen, right? Okay, okay, okay. But uh, explain why the heck every time he sees her, he's so creepy around her. Like, dude, she doesn't want you, for real. How many times has this girl reject you? She doesn't want you. He's so creepy. Like, I'm like, how are how are your teammates? Not stopping you. How? How are your teammates not stop you? How can everyone? How can people like this character for this creepy stuff he did? Like what? Like for real? What really? So you guys like this Green Ranger that is that is per that is creeping and being very perfect, be perfect. Be a pervert, kind of say, pervy to this underage yellow ranger. By the way, she's 18, just want to say that, FYI. And yet, it just doesn't seem right. I get it, I get it, okay? I get it. It's just, ooh, my bad. Hit my, hit, my, hit, my, hit my mic again. I get it, okay? I get it. It's Japan. Calm down, Broku. It's a consent. But guess what? I don't care. I don't care. But that's that but that still doesn't make it right though because he's being creepy towards her 
and he should not be doing that, to be honest with you, in the first place. And that's just disappointing. So anyway, uh, before, before anyway, before we go into more meat and potatoes of this, let's talk a little less. Before I go on to more negatives about this show, let's talk about the positives. The positive. The Lupin Rangers actually had characters. I think they did since day one when I first watched the show two years ago. The Lupin Rangers had like characters. And to be honest with you, I'll be honest with you, why is the show called Lupin vs. Potter Ranger, but yet the show literally focused more on the Lupin Rangers than the Power Rangers. I'm sorry. You can you can say that's not true. Oh, sorry. So you're not telling me that the intro proves my point and that the story and writing focus more on the Lupin than the Power to the Power Rangers. Like for freak's sake. Almost the final episode, freaking K2 said that he wished that he was there to save Kai. Kai's brother. In the same episode, Potter Pink and Potter Green wish as well that they could have saved them from this despair that they're going on. If that doesn't prove to you that the Lupin and the main character, I don't know what does. Oh, oh, I got it. The final battle with Zamigo, pretty obviously the final battle with Zamigo, his name was. By the way, I I want I want to talk about Zamigo very really soon, but uh, the final battle with Zamigo literally just proved that the that the that the Lupin Rangers are in fact the main characters of the show and not the Packer Rangers. I don't know why. I don't know why Toei, not Toei. I don't blame Toei for this. I don't know what the heck. Actually, no, I do play talk today. I don't know what the heck they were thinking because why make two teams, cops and robbers, when yet your writing staff going to focus more on the, on the Lupins than the Pats? What? I'm sorry. Am I watching Zero One? No, hold on. Hold on. Scratch that. Am I watching Ryuki? I don't like Ryuki though, and I'm not. And don't worry, one day I will talk about Ryuki on this podcast. But I like for real. Am, am I watching Ryuki? Am I watching Gaim? Am I watching Ghosts? No, I'm not watching none of those crappy shows. It's just, ugh. what? I was talking. Let me go back with let me go back let me go back up with the positive because I just went on a little rant there. So let's talk about the Lupin Rangers. About all three of them, what I like about them. So we got Kai, Lupin Red. One year ago, he lost his older brother. And also <laughs> he lost his older brother to his amigo, and he still had regrets to the very day about it. And I swear to God, the whole time I'm watching the show, I feel like that his brother's actor was 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 Bokin Red from Bokinger. I was like, wait a minute, huh? That chief from Bokinger? I don't think it was. I think it was, but if it was, holy crap, chief, what are you doing in this garbage show? You should be with Sakura. <laughs> and I, I not gonna lie, I do want to go review Bokinger one day because that show underrated as well. That show is very underrated, just like just like an American counterpart. But uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Also, I'm not gonna lie. I think I think like I think like I think like out all story of the Lupin Ranger. Kai's my favorite, cause I can relate to him. Until, <laughs> till he till he's a troller. He trolls a lot in the show and. And I, I like his personality as well, so this day as well. Out of you. <laughs> the Lupin Ranger has Lupin Ranger has 
has clean mechs like Lupin Kaiser, Lupin Kaiser Magic, and all that. But I think the best thing I like about the Lupin Rangers are their suits. Their suits are beautiful. Oh my goodness. And those capes. Those capes remind me of Mystic Force and Magi Ranger. And I love it. <laughs> so let's talk about Lupin Blue, aka Toma. No, not that Toma from Saber. Relax. <laughs> so Lupin Blue. So Lupin Blue. What can I think of? So what, 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 I can talk. So, Lupin Blue, what can, what can I say about uh, Toma? Well, one year ago, he lost his fiance to Zamigos, to Zamigo, and uh, in the beginning of the show, he has trust issues. Like, literally, he did. He at the beginning of the show, he literally, oop, my bad. At the beginning of the show, he literally had trust issues. Oh, oh, one more proof? When uh when Narelle came when when Narelle Pia when Narelle, when him and Narelle were uh were doing that uh that cooking episode focus episode he did not trust Narelle to fix his uh to fix his uh wait, what what the heck is that his treasure so he can morph into Lupin Blue you know what I'm talking about when you watch this you know you know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, he did not uh, trust him. And in another episode we can talk about is uh, an episode when uh, when Pot of Pink and Toma got sucked into the freaking uh, into that other dimension. I totally forgot what it's called because I get two craps about this show and I don't even care for it to be honest with you. So my phone's going off as well, so please forgive me on that. But uh, yeah, I thought I thought I forgot what that I thought I forgot what the dimension was called. But uh, yeah, and I, and that and that I can't talk, freak. In that one episode, hold on. <sighs> Sorry, in that one episode, freaking Toma. And part of pink got stuck in that one dimension. I, I thought I forgot what it's called. I call it Dimension X because Ninja Turtles. Why not? <clears throat> so they got sucked in. They so they got sucked into the techno drum. Okay, <laughs> so they got sucked into Dimension X. <laughs> Go with they were calling Dimension X. So they got sucked into Dimension X. And that episode, he did not. Uh, he did not trust. He did not trust part of pink. Well, to be honest, I don't blame him because he did warn the whole entire show. Don't get, don't don't get like, too attached to them because they have like a they have like a mission to focus on. Not gonna lie, he felt like he felt like someone of a, I would say father figure, but someone like someone like a, you kind of say older brother, but Kai was the youngest, and Yumiko was like the sister. Oh man, that's pretty cool. That's like that's like pretty cool right there. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but but before we go on to our six ranger and 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 other characters in the show, let's talk about Yumika. Now, actually, I'm gonna say this. I like Yumika. In the beginning of the show, I don't see why I don't know I don't get what Emma likes I don't get why like I don't get what Emma likes about her. But I think I do know a few stuff about her actress though. I know that her actress was in a singing group and that she's a pop star. <laughs> C S though, C S <laughs> And uh And that's pretty much it I can think of. So uh, let's talk about Yumika. What do I think of her as a character? She is alright. I'm not gonna lie, she was alright. She felt like the little sister of the group, basically like a I would say like a Yumiko 2.0. You kinda say? She was she was there to support the team, cheer them up and all that. 
and I, yes, yes, she's a part, yes, she's a part of the team too to bring back her best friend that went missing one year ago as well. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, all three of the Looping Ranger backstories are heartbreaking because I just feel sorry for them. They, they, they all lost someone too. Kai lost his older brother, aka Broken Red. <laughs> Toma lost his fiance, and then Yumika lost her best friend. Dang, I just, just heartbreak me. And you, you just got, you just gotta feel bad for them, though. I do, not gonna lie. I actually feel bad for them. Damn, just, just damn. And my phone's going off screen. Just damn. So let's talk about my least favorite six ranger, Noel. Now I'll be honest with you. I think Noel is. I think Noel is boring. <laughs> what I mean by he's boring, like. I mean, there are a few times here and there he got on my good side, but like other than that, he's just boring. I like Lupin X. I don't like, but I don't like, uh, I don't like Pedal X. That's, that that suit looks hideous. And don't you don't even get me started on Super Lupin. Don't give me don't even, don't even get me started on his on his Battleizer. What the freak is that name called? What the freak is that form call? Ah, oh, this I don't remember. I finished the show last night, and it was torture. <laughs> the freaking power up, the freaking freaking like tank power up is stupid. And I said this, but uh, when he used the freaking uh, when he used the when he used a uh, Lupin. When he used Kai's power up, the super the, the super Lupin X power up, he looked way better, and he looked way better probably because of the silver matches matches his suit, and also the silver cape looked pretty cool as well on him. It looks way better on him than it does on Lupin Red. Also, that yeah, the battle lights in this show are stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, but. They don't, they don't look that good. They look they look freaking dumb. They look just freaking dumb and uh I didn't like that. I'm sorry. I did not I didn't I did not like that, not like one bit. Uh, but Noel has a reason why he uh Noel has a reason why he's helping them. But yeah, I'll be honest with you, his reason is kind of pointless and dumb. He the reason why the reason why he's helping the the freaking Lupin Rangers is because he wanted to bring back his his dead master. But uh here's the problem with that. <clears throat> they can't bring him back because he's dead. So what was the point of so what was the point of, so what's the point of the writers trying to make that happen? Yet it wasn't going. Yet it didn't. What was the point then? So you so you tell me so you, so you tell me that his mission to bring back his master, right? Okay, that's fair. We're gonna pull like a Jiren from Dragon Ball Super manga. Okay, fair enough. But at the same time, this. But at the same time, a couple of backstories, a couple of backstories later, oh, uh, Noel can't bring back Noel can't bring back his master. His master is now dead. I just what? Am I watching Dragon Ball Z? My phone's going off. My God, am I watching like Dragon Ball Z? Wait, hold on. Am I watching Dragon Ball Super? I think I'm watching Dragon Ball Super. Because that's literally what this is right now. Oh God, that's so sad. 
adding crap and more crap. That's wonderful. Matter of fact, just as freaking uh, just as freaking Ryuki and they got more crap in that whole crap and crap and crap and crap crap crap. Ah, uh, yeah, that's just great. That's just great. So uh, back I was saying, yeah, uh, Noel. What did what did what do I think of Noel? His backstory is boring. Ain't not even human. Wait a minute. So if he's not human, then then explain to me this. Why the hell? Excuse my language. Why the hell does? Why the hell does? Why the hell did Noel when he saw all uh, that when he fought that blue chick alien monster? My bad. Why did he got so? Wild up because he didn't want no one to know his secret. If I'm gonna be honest with you, I feel like what should I? I feel like what they should have done is made that big. Make I feel like they should have uh spiced it up for that big reveal saying he's not human when yet literally I want to say this. I'm gonna say this. Bill did it. Coming to Bill did it way better. Am I being biased because Bill my favorite season? Yes, kind of am. But Coming to Bill did it way better. Coming to Bill did it way better with Bonjo saying Bonjo is inhuman. <clears throat> so, not know why you got copy and paste Bill because literally, I find it ironic because. Both of these shows had super heel time with each other when they when they were literally airing in Japan. Like, imagine copy off a imagine copy off someone else's homework just to make this one character from from a Sentai show say that he's not human. What? That's like copying co that's like copying a brand garbage version of Cocoa Pebbles having the exact same flavor just. Tacking on a different serial name on it. What? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to copy off your homework, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You don't mind just copy off this and he ain't human because I know I know that your show did it too. Like, I'll be honest with you. I don't like that. I think that was stupid. Is it dumb? Yeah, kind of is dumb. But that, but the big reveal of revealing that he's a human was pretty dumb. They should have freaking spiced it up or somehow, but no, they didn't. That freaking blue chick, that freaking blue chick told him, "Oh yeah, uh, X is in, X is not human." I'm like, really, really, just that's. Like that's it. No like, no like, no suspense music or anything. That's it. And oh yeah, uh, the episode. Oh yeah, uh, the episode ends. The episode ends when they did that. When they revealed that. For peace' sakes, at least with freaking build. <laughs> at least with freaking build, it took me like what two or three episodes. To to get around to confirm to reveal that Banjo isn't human, and then Evo told him, "Oh yeah, it's true. You're not human at all. You're not human. You're my son. <laughs> I just lost my power when you were born. So I said, so I, I so I so I just had to wait till you're all grown up, got your big boy pants to fight me in your spandex, and your dragon spandex, which." <laughs> which is lit phone shut up which is literally the whole story of Bon Jones build in a nutshell <laughs> the whole the whole like plot of Noel not being human was pretty dumb and like I didn't like it 
I'm not trying. Okay, I'm not trying to be. I'm sorry, I'm repeating a little bit. I'm not trying to be me and all, but at the same time, I wish this show. I wish this show could have done better for that reveal, and I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. It's just dumb. So let's talk about the Lupin Ranger's mentor. He was all right. Nothing like not nothing nothing saying about him, because. Like, to be honest with you, he did to be honest with you, he didn't he didn't like do like that much in the show, except for except for getting except for being like the uh middleman <laughs> you can play my said. Hey, how many imports does this guy have? Cause I can use him to help me import some stuff from Japan to my house. Just saying. <laughs> but uh yeah, he's okay. So let's talk about so let's talk about the Pathan Ranger's mentor. I like him. And he's black. And he speaks Japanese too. Even though I feel like his Japanese is not that good. But again, then I can't speak full Japanese. So, hey, diversity, I guess you can say. So, yeah. <sighs> so, let's talk about the villains. Uh, what the frick are the names? To be honest with you, I don't remember because the villains were just one dimensional. Like, literally, they were like one dimensional. And that's pretty much it. Personally, in my opinion, I feel like the main villain of the show should have been Zamigo because his, his, his like, writing, he kind of said it was actually very brilliant. He felt like, he felt like, he felt like. He felt like the final villain, the final villain of the show, instead of the big boss himself. You know, the guy that had like the freaking gold case. Zemigo felt like a final villain of the show. Man, in my opinion, I felt like that he should have been the final villain in the show instead of, the, instead of his boss. Because his boss literally did nothing, just sat on his butt through every episode. While drinking alcohol. Kind of remind me of Matthew Zandrade from Power of the Samurai. Because that idiot, that buffoon, matter of fact, sat on his behind while getting drink while getting drunk off his own medicine. Like literally, you point he pointing at Matthew Zandrade here. He's sitting on his butt while drinking medicine. You're saying medicine, this guy drinking alcohol. He like he he didn't do that much. He wasn't he wasn't like, he wasn't like even a, like a freaking uh like freaking uh powerful not powerful I'd say interrogator. He wasn't even like even that like good villain. He was just bland. Same for all same like for all the same for all the monsters like all the, all the like one dimensional somewhat. Including that one monster that was good for Sukas for Pat of Pink. But like other than that, that's pretty much it though. The villain just the villain except for freaking Samigo felt bland. Ugh. So let's talk about the frick so let's, let's talk, I can't talk. So let's talk about uh focus episodes. I'll be honest with you. This show had no fo focus episode on the Pathor Rangers. Not one. And what do you mean? I can say this benefit now. Like, in every somewhat focused episode they try to do with them, the Lupin Rangers are also there. And they, and they take the whole spotlight. For real. I can think of one episode that, the, that all three Pathor Rangers are somewhat focused in. Yeah, this episode probably the worst one they made. And Toei, hey, uh, Toei, what the freak were you thinking of making this? Because remember, this is a kids' show. But yeah, at the same time, it just contradict. It just contradict. This just contradict saying that is this really a kids' show? So I'm talking. About, I'm so. <sighs> oh god. So I'm talking about 
Hold on, my phone's going off. Oh god. So I'm talking about episode eleven. Uh, sorry about that. So I'm talking about episode eleven. Uh, talking about episode eleven. Uh, Luke Ranger, Pato Ranger. This episode is weird. And whoever wrote this, I know I want to say that for the guy that wrote this episode. What the frick were you thinking? Because this episode was so bad that I heard my eyes were watching it. Literally, hold on, watch like, my eyes are burning. My eyes are burning from watching this crap. It wasn't even that good. Oh my goodness. Gender bending, the Power Rangers, not know why you thought that was a good idea. Kind of, yeah, this is Japan, but at the same time, uh, little kids are watching this in Japan when they first saw this. So I just want to just want to make it clear: little kids were watching this in Japan when this was happening. And I just want to know, uh, Toei, what the. Flying donkeys, were you guys thinking? Because this, this ain't it, Chief. No, this ain't it. And like, the more I think about it, the Power Rangers don't have like their own focus episodes. And what I mean by that is that the show tries to, but yet the Looping Rangers come in and steal the spotlight and pretty much prove it. Again, the freaking Power Ranger. I like the useless characters in the show. <laughs> I told it to my friend, but I don't say it here. The Power Rangers are pretty much the bland slash wannabe version of the Deck Ranger. No character, no charisma, and they're just useless. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. You can dis you can disagree with me if you want. That's fair, but I'm just being honest right here. And also, this is my podcast, and I can say and I can give my uh, well hot takes I want on here. So this that as well. And please don't go in the comments saying me you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. This is a this is a, this is a, this is a critical review. Of a kid's show that I'm doing. <laughs> so you gotta you gotta remember so you gotta remember this. Don't take it seriously. It's a fucking kid show. Some language, but don't take it seriously. It's a freaking kid show. That's much better. <sighs> so back on so back on from saying the Lupin Rangers are pretty much the main characters of this whole show. Not know why the show called Lupin vs. Pat, but yet it should have been because I I don't I don't know. The Power Rangers are just useless. I wanna say useless, no. I'll say this. Out of all three of the Power Rangers, K is somewhat relatable. And he 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 somewhat get past. Other than that, the other two are just, yeah, we got a, not, we got like a gender bend, we can say, we got like a female version of someone that's trying to be like Hoji, but yet she isn't, and we got a comp an annoying garbage combination of what happened if you merge if you ha take Yumiko's clumsiness and bonds and bonds annoyingness and merge them together and you get Pattern Green. God I hate that character. I actually hate that character with a burning passion. Yeah and I don't even say I don't even say that mostly, but it's true. God Ah, uh, so what else? So what else? So what else should I say before I end it?
not gonna end this, but what else should I say? What else should we talk about? Oh yeah, uh, there are there are, there are like a few there are like a few times in the show when when uh, when the, when those two kids are got on my good side. I'm gonna say it like this. I don't like I I don't like him when Pat Green's clumsy and, and he's a doofus and annoying and he literally get on my nerves. Her he literally get on my nerves when he's acting dumb. I like him when he is serious when the writing is actually paying attention to him. But yet it isn't. What is wrong? What is up with that? The writing isn't even paying attention to him. What? What? And what I mean by that, that <clears throat> the time you show where well, yeah, you can tell that the writing for him is there. It's there, okay? It's there. They want him to be serious. But yet, but yet at the same time, it just falls down like a pile of paper and just make him freaking doofus and clumsy. I don't I don't even, <sighs> I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Same thing for Pot of Pink. There are a few times she got on my good side, but with this good writing of her being serious. Well, well to be honest with you, I think I could credit to the cast members for, for this. But, uh. The writing for the writing for her is there, but also at the same time, she's just. Uh, how can I say this nicest way? In Decker Ranger, and in Decker Ranger, I, I talk about my review. One of my favorite episodes that about Hoji making a mistake. What, what was it called again? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What was it called again? What was it called again? Sorry, I have, I have like a lot of. Cr All right, I have like a lot of crap on here. <laughs> oh, yeah, Perfect Blue. That episode of Jack the Ranger, Hoji. That, that, that folks episode was focusing on Hoji. And he's saying that he ne he never make a mistake. He's perfect or perfect. He said, <laughs> "Freaking love you, Hoji." <laughs> but uh, no, that episode an operation messed up, and Hoji feel well. Hoji just shattered to a million pieces, saying that shattered to a million pieces by messing up that operation. But do you want? But do you want to know who was there for him with the next episode? Freaking Bond, his eyebow. And uh, Bond gave him the Bond punched him while giving him an inspirational speech, and the, and the two men to save the, to the two men to save the girl that was kidnapped and complete the mission as well. You see, with that, I wanted Hia and Lupin with with Papa Pink, but I didn't get that. I get, I get different writers and all that. That's fair. I'm not being sexist. By the way, if you're being sexist to a female writer because she wrote this one show you like, then I'm gonna I'm gonna call you out because you're kinda of being you're kinda of being you're kinda of contradicting yourself while being a hypocrite, so yeah. You know who you are I'm talking about. But uh yeah, it's just why can't I not get that from Decker Ranger into Lupat? I didn't see it in Lupat. The whole time, the, the whole time she's trying to act serious, act, but to be honest, nothing you know. Nah, she's not serious. She's just, she's not serious. She's just, she tried to be serious, but at the same time, no. She, she's just, <laughs> how can I say this? She's like Sid. That's, no, that's even worse. No, I, no, no. I'll take that back. I'll take it back. <sighs> okay, so do you guys, so do you guys remember, so, so you guys I remember that one uh character from Fairy Odd Parents? What's name? Dark Laser? It's like the wannabe knockoff version of Dark Vader from Fairy Odd Parents, right? And 
he he and he has he, he has like a weakness. He has he has a toy dog named Flipsy, right? He and he try and act like I'm um, all big and tough and evil. Moo ha ha ha. Meanwhile, he play with his toy dog named Flipsy, and uh, he acts he acts like a different side of him. That's pretty much. Sorry, spinning. That's pretty much part of Pink in a nutshell. <laughs> she tried to act tough, but at the same time, no. When she see a plushie, yeah, no, she can't control herself. That just disappoints me. Ugh. I want. I wanted to like this show when I first watched it. I did, but like, no, just no. Cause, just no, the show just. And what's worse is that I rather will watch. I rather will watch Ryuki. And I can't stand Ryuki because that show, that I love that show to. I have so much agony to watch, for for me watching that show. Literally, I stop on the what. Episode 34, because that show gave me a freaking headache. A bad one, too. Oh, my God. I don't... Ah, oh, my goodness. Now, I'm sorry, I have to say this. If I think I could, if I think I could show a verdict... I like the Lupin Rangers. I like the cat. I like the characters. Kato will get Kato kind of Kato kind of get a pass at the same time. I don't like him when I don't like him when he. I don't, I don't like him when he's a stubborn hothead doof. The actor's handsome, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh. It has, let's see, the villains are bland. Zamigo was great. <sighs> the mechs were okay. The, 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 the soundtrack was pretty cool. Sound of, I think Psycho Lover did like one of the songs for the Pattern of Lupin Ranger, which was pretty fire. There like some great moments in the show, like for dynamic, for the character being serious. I like that. But yeah, oop, my bad. But yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it when when the Power Rangers act like freaking morons. Like, literally, episode 5, Power Pink discovered the Lupin Ranger's secret identity, right? She was honest in it, right? But guess what? In the mid, in the mid, in, like, in the three part climax finale, <laughs> Keitaro confirmed, Keitaro Pretty much, pretty much told them. Oh yeah, I know, I know who the Lupin Rangers' identities are. I'm like, wait a minute. Did we wait? Wait a minute. Did we like already like do this? Did we like already like do this because like, oh, I don't know. Not like, not like Pot of Pink already told you guys in episode five. <laughs> but uh, nope. Nope. Just nope. I think it was episode five. I don't even care. Remember, but uh, but no. But again, then to be fair, they did reference. They did mention that in that in in that same episode where Kato confirmed the the, the Lupin Ranger secret identities. So that's dead as well. Which is fair enough on the writer's part, but like, I'll be honest, with you. The show should have been called Lupin Rangers. The Power Rangers. <sighs> oh, God. And that's just a shame because I like the cast. They seem cool. I see Power Green's work in Ultimate G. Yes, he was in Ultimate G. I see uh, Power Pink uh, work in a few uh, drama shows. And like in like one episode of Comrade Ray Vice she was in. Heck, Kai's actor I seen Kai's actor work in a freaking uh 
in a freaking Yaoi show with Santos actor. Heck, heck, Kai's actor is gonna be Kai's actor going to reply to his role as Lupin Red in the Kira Major vs. Zen Kaiser movie, which is pretty cool with Go Kai Red as, as well. That's pretty awesome, not gonna lie. That's pretty awesome. I can't I can't wait to see that. But uh, I have so much like I'm very critical of this show. And I have like so much negativity towards it. And if if, if, if like anyone's gonna ask me, hey Aaron, would you recommend this show? My answer is my answer is this. If if you like if you like a show about cops and robbers, then this is for you. But if but if you don't but if you don't like a show, but if you don't like a sh but I'm clear. If you want like if you want like a show, if you want a show that talk about cops and robbers, that's pretty much this. But if you don't want a show like that, that would that would recommend you to go watch like. Let's see, Comrade Drive, Comrade Double, Decker Ranger, SPD. Heck, go read some Batman comics about the, about freaking detectives, or watch some Batman movies. Heck, go check out the Batman. Literally, that that's a good movie. So good. Go check it out. If only, if only, if only, if, if, if you want like other detective shows. You go go check those out because those like really good. Heck, go watch Power Rangers SPD because that's also a detective show. It's just this show has so much potential, but yet it just fails badly. I wanted to like this show. I did. I don't want to be. I don't. I don't want to be the bad guy. It's just I see. I can see why people like it. But for me, yeah, no. I don't like Lou Pat. Personally, I'm going to say this 100%. I'm going to say this. Ninja's better. Yes, I said it. Ninja is better. Well, that's all I'm going to say for now. Please like, comment, subscribe. My next review will probably be a figure review, and uh, my next like my my, and, like, my next podcast episode review will probably be I'm thinking about the O's movie. I just watched that like yesterday. Well, not well, today, not that long ago. Or S Power Rangers SPD car. I just went back to rewatching SPDM and I'm loving every second of it right now. But uh, yeah, my name's Broku. I'm out. Have a nice day or night wherever you live. I'll see you next time. Ciao. Follow my social media in the description. Ciao.